baby Columbo's in Fortnite. Well, on today's video, we are gonna go ahead and eliminate the boss Columbo and do a lot of fun stuff with the boss Columbo's. I'm giving my subscribers more V-Bucks. <laughs> So subscribe and comment what's your epic name. So right in front of us, we have got ourselves a Clombo right now. And as you can see as well, when we actually go ahead and mark it, it actually shows a baby Clombo. So we are going to reveal all the secret in today's video. But first, we are going to go ahead and eliminate the boss Clombo right now. Yes, you heard it right. Because apparently, if you use a regular item just like the ones I have right now, it only does one damage to a Clombo. And as you can see right now, this does one damage. If you use the Stinger, it does one damage. If you use the Shotgun, it does one damage. If you use the regular AR, it does one damage. And also, if you use the MK7 Assault Rifle, it does one damage. So right now, we're gonna use Unvaulted items to go ahead and eliminate this Clombo. And you might be thinking, how am I gonna get an Unvaulted item on Chapter 3? Well, I know a trick. As you can see right now, I've got myself the enemy bot grenade. And basically what it does is that if you go ahead and deploy it, it will release a bot. But as you can see, it actually has a vaulted item, which is the assault rifle from chapter 1 and as well as chapter 2. And to be precise, it does exactly 30 damage. To test it out even further, let me show you how much damage it actually does. So let's wait for the shark to actually come outside the water and we will test out the damage right now. Okay, there we go. As you can see, it does exactly 30 damage right now on a normal wildlife animal. So let's go ahead and use it on a Clombo and let's see if a vaulted item can actually eliminate a Clombo. Because after this, we are going to use a scar on a Clombo. But as you can see right now, even right now, if you go ahead and mark this Clombo right now, it actually shows a picture of a baby Clombo, which is pretty exciting. So we are gonna go ahead and have a look at the baby Clombos as well. But for now, let's test it out how much damage it actually does. Wait, even this also does a one damage per hit. Well, it's time for us to go ahead and use a scar on this Clombo right now and see if a scar can eliminate a Clombo. So right now we're in Tiller Towers and right below us there is the Galactico NPC boss. But the interesting thing about him is that if you go ahead and shoot him, you can see he's actually now using a scar from the chapter 1 and the chapter 2 map which just got vaulted. And as you can see, it actually does more damage than a regular assault rifle. So we are going to go ahead and eliminate the Galactico NPC boss and see if we can use it to eliminate the boss Clombo in Fortnite. To confirm it even further, I'm going to get eliminated by the uh, Galactico NPC boss. And then you guys can see he actually does use an actual scar. All right, go ahead and eliminate me, buddy. I'm right over here, buddy. You could laser me while I was all the way over there and you can't do it right now come on buddy do it do it yes and as you can see right now it shows that galactico actually eliminated me with a scar all right it's time to eliminate the galactico npc yes he's using scar again this is perfect so let's go ahead and eliminate him and we're gonna go ahead and pick up his scar right now all right this should do the trick whoa 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 easy there buddy Alright, we eliminated him. Let's go down and let's go ahead and pick ourselves the scar. Alright, for the first time ever, let's find out. Alright, wait. The boss did not even drop anything? What? Okay, turns out I had to go an extra mile to get this scar. So let's go ahead and use this right now on a Columbo and see if we can eliminate it. And after this, we are going to use another new item in the game to eliminate the Columbo. Well, it turns out even if you use a scar on a Columbo, it only does one damage. And thanks to Peku, we can actually have a look at Columbos being eliminated because it takes more than 9,000 damage to get eliminated. And with this vaulted item, yes, you can actually go ahead and eliminate a Clombo in Fortnite. Well, along with this, yes, a lot of people have spotted that once you actually go ahead and mark a Clombo, it actually shows a picture of a baby Clombo. And with the new update, it turns out Fortnite has added secret eggs in the Fortnite map. And according to all the Fortnite players, these eggs actually belong to baby Clombos themselves. These eggs are actually going to be spawning in inside caves. 
and it turns out we actually have a ton of caves in the Fortnite map and there is one specific cave which stands out the most. This is the cave which actually is below the Haven NPC boss and as you know Haven is the master of clombos cause well she even sells clumberries that clombos actually love to eat. And well it turns out that these eggs are gonna be spawning inside caves. And well, if you're not aware of this, there's another big cave that is in the formation right now. Fortnite Season 1 is 50% complete and with that, we have actually found the remains of the Caddis monster in the Chapter 3 map. And the Arrow Guards, well, they're actually planning to make a new Caddis monster once the DNA has been extracted and that is why the whole digging up process is going on. Now you might be thinking, how are baby Clombos linked up with Caddis in the first place? Well it turns out when the whole digging is completed, there is gonna be a new cave that is gonna be spawning in in the game that we would be able to explore just like the cave that we are able to explore right now where there is gonna be chest and a lot of cool stuff. And in this exact cave, we would be able to spot the brand new eggs in the game and on the previous challenges that we have seen in the past we actually earned rewards for searching the new eggs in Fortnite and just like that due to popular demand people are claiming that Fortnite is gonna give us a brand new baby Clombo as a pet in Fortnite we actually saw a ton of pets back in chapter 1 season 6 and ever since then we haven't seen many pets in Fortnite and it turns out that this is the perfect time to introduce a lot of pets in the game itself. And the fact that once we go ahead and mark a Clombo, we can see a baby Clombo, this actually makes a lot of people happy because we're now finally gonna be seeing baby Clombos in the new Fortnite update. And well, all of this is thanks to Fortnite because, well, they accidentally did a big oopsie and it turns out they actually revealed the next big update. We're actually gonna get ourselves a new POI in the game which is gonna be called the Covered Cavern. And over here we would be able to spot new bosses in the game. Now the reason why this is super important to Baby Clombos and Caddis Monster is cause, well, the Owl Guards they're making an artificial Caddis Monster and well, we are soon gonna be seeing a live event. And as you know, Tilted Towers has always been the attraction of live events whether they are gonna be destroyed or not and we have seen it happen over and over again and Fortnite has said if Clombos do get eliminated Tilted Towers is gonna be destroyed and well everyone seems to love Tilted Towers and they just got added a few days ago so something tells me that Clombos are actually gonna live and they're actually gonna defeat the Caddis monster on the final event along with Spider-Man. And thus, Silver Towers is gonna be saved all thanks to Clombos in Fortnite. If you enjoyed this video, then please use code GARU in the item shop and click on this video because this video is pretty awesome.